I'm 45 at the moment. I started time when I was about nine or 10, and I've even got some old flyer designs. You've got plastic wings in them. You know, even when I was a kid, I was starting to use synthetics, and maybe some of those designs have developed into what I'm using now, you know, some 20 years later. You know, I get it in my head, I want to design a certain fly. And what I'll do is I might sketch it down, keep those sketches for a while, and then start working on prototypes, trying them out, and then just adding little bits, perfecting them. You know, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. It's got to be like spot on, and I've got to be happy before I release it and stick my name in it, you know. I think what sets my flies apart from the stock standard flies is the hooks, you know, they can be trusted and the design and development of them over the years. They look pretty realistic, they're durable. You know, a lot of people now can look at my flies and they know it's a Stu Superior flies, you know, just by looking at it, which is quite an honor for, for me. But it's crazy, I mean, you know, I mean, all these people and they spend thousands on their equipment and then they've got flies tied on crap hooks. And it's the most important thing of all your tackle. I'm using Timco, a Japanese hook. I've tried so many different brands here in New Zealand and by far the hooks I'm using are the strongest. Oh, my influence was probably years ago, I was with my grandpa up this small river and I had my Uncle Bobby there. And me and my grandpa were sort of using bubble floats and worms, you know, I was only a small kid. And my Uncle Bobby, I watched him and he went up the stream and he was just elegantly casting away fly fishing, you know. And, and he caught fish and I watched this and went, wow, one day I want to do that. <laughs> 